Center in Point Claire, Quebec for this championship game of the U13A West Island Tournament. The Gahawagi Mohawks and the West Island Kings. The Kings 13, 7, and 4 during their season in the CHL. They were the top team in the league. Not a very top heavy league. A lot of the teams, especially the top six, everyone excluding the Pierfall Barons. Uh, in that division were basically within a couple of goals difference of one another. Uh, it's a well-balanced league. Mohawks coming off of a 5-1 win over the LaSalle, Laval Centurions yesterday. West Island Kings a 3-2 win over the West Island Knights last evening. Starting goaltenders brought to you by Mohawk Super and Hayes Horn and Justin Benini. David Duty Homer starting up front against Alistair Walker. Jacob Paul on one wing. Calder Clark on the opposite wing. Hunter Jacobs has moved up. And Wahesu Corrette on the back end with Onya Daze James Day. So he's been moved from forward back to his second position. Uh, the fans remember his first position was actually goalie as we have an early icing called against the Mohawks. Gaughnawagi in orange with white and black trim. They'll be skating right to left and the West Island team, the Kings, in the dark blue with red and white trim skating left to right. Off the draw, Onya Dazi, James Day gets it over to Wahesu Correct. Banged off the boards, Homer trying to pick it up with a high slot. Winner of this game ends the season with a championship. That's played up to Jacob Paul. Paul to Homer. There's a quick shot, and that is stopped by Gennady, and he'll hang on to the game's first whistle. Faceoff coming up to Gennady's left. No score here, Mohawks and West Island Kings as we film up here with Skycam. Face-off controlled by the Mohawks. Nash and Mayo fumbled it and the puck will get out. Mayo trying to bank it off the boards, he does. And that's over skated by foot and dropped back into the West Island territory. The Kings bank it off the boards. And that's foot into the bench. Played right by uh, Daryl Paul. And that will mean a face-off coming up here with uh, 9.08 to go, a slow start to this game. Luca Capanelli, number eight, gets to the face-off dot. And that is won nicely by Grayson Jacobs. Up to Amonte Horn, across center ice. He takes a slap shot, that misses, and he got stuck behind the goal. Foot behind the net. Threw it out in front, and that is cleared to Reese Dixon at the point. He holds it in. Let's a shot go, and that's tipped wide of the net. Picked back up on the other side by Jacobs. Wraparound shot by Foot misses the net. And that'll be cleared to Dixon, who keeps it alive. And that puck skips to the other side of the goal. Grayson Jacobs picks it back up, and Jacobs sends it down low. Back around the horn. Reese Dixon at the point. Can't hold it in. And look out, West Island is away. Here comes Glanville. Noah Glanville, and Dixon got rid of it. Nice play by Reese Dixon. And Conlon Foot. Nice move into West Island territory. He shifts gears, threw it back. Mayo. Has a look, let's hit fire, and that's blocked, uh, kicked aside by Guinardi. And away come the Kings. Mohawks got to get back. Uh, odd man rush, West Island. That out in front, that's knocked away nicely by Mayo on the back end. Up the ice. Pass got by Amonte Horn. And the Mohawks are going to change. Grayson Jacobs, Conley foot are off. And in they come into Mohawks territory. Here's a wrist shot. Hayes Homer makes the save, and she'll hang on. Face off one by the Mohawks, and Hunter Jacobs has the puck at center ice. Flipping one up, and hit a skate. Melodier centering this line. Played up, and away come the Kings into Mohawks territory. Here's a wrist shot. Melodier with the block from the back. Comes back to the point. And out of reach, Paul couldn't get there. 
And Deere now picks it up and she'll flick it back into West Island territory. Reed Jeffrey in, in pursuit is Bella. And she knocked the puck away. Good force turnover. Stolen puck. Hunter Jacobs shoots and that is blocked. And boy, he had time for a coffee. But a good recovery there by the Kings. And back comes West Island. And Deere chopped it away. Puck got by Day. And on the Adazi, James Day trying to knock it free. That's played back to the high slot. And the Kings knock it down. A shot blocked by Deere. Or what has to correct, sorry, on that one. There's a slap shot. Correct got in the way again. And Paul shoots it into West Island territory. Far enough for icing, and we'll get a whistle with 6.20 to go here in the first. Face off to the left of Hayes Horn, and it's controlled by Reese Dixon. And here comes Dixon, making his way to center ice. Dixon into West Island territory. Reese trying to split the defense, nearly did, and Conlon Foote took it away. Foote throws it out in front, and Homer couldn't get the shot away. And away comes the West Island. Kings into Mohawks territory. Dixon got deeped out. And that'll roll on that. Hayes Horn's got it, and she'll hang on with 5.55 to go here in the first. Face off to the right of Horn, and it's controlled by West Island. Glanville shot blocked, and a Horn couldn't retrieve it. Shot back into Gonhawagi territory. Dixon. Dixon. And now Amonte Horn feeds one up the center ice. That pass was stolen. A split now regathers. And he put his teammate offside. He's going to have to get out. He does. And here's Foot. Shoots. And that knocked the stick out of Gennardi's hand. But he got the save in there with the butt end of the stick. Good shot by Foot. Better save by Gennardi. Back comes West Island. Gabrielle Gregoire coming on in. Gregoire, he shoots, pat saved by Horn. Picked up by Paul, and he flicks one up the center. Amante Horn couldn't handle it. Now he's, they regather, and Paul comes in. Jacob Paul. One of the Kings lost this kicks. That's Gregoire. So it's five on four and a half, basically, right now. Paul couldn't get rid of it. And now the Kings will come back. And Gregoire can get back to the bench to get a stick. 4.30 to go in the first, still no score. And it's Ozzie James Day with the knockaway. Day up the center, Homer couldn't handle the pass. Stole a puck by West Island. And here come the Kings, a wrist shot, not on. To the point it goes. And the Kings back in their own zone. Grayson Jacobs knocked it out, knocked it back in, sorry, but he's going to have to tag up, and now the Mohawks have retreated successfully. Out in front, and that pass misses the intended target. Pick back up on the other side. Backhander, Hayes Horn with a save, sprawling. And she keeps his baby 0-0. 47 left to go in the first. Mohawk zero, Kings zero. Mohawks in the orange, West Island in the dark blue with white and red trim. And the face off will be to Hayes' right. And that is won by the Kings. But now the Mohawks do gain control. Up the foot, and Conlon foot now gets into West Island territory. Foot tried to throw it out in front, and that pass hit a stick. Deer back behind the net. Hunter Jacobs and Foot both giving chase to the puck. Dixon pulls it in. Hunter Jacobs has a look. He fires. Save. Bella Deer picks it back up, and that shot hits a leg. Mayo keeps it alive and plays it back in. Mayo keeps it alive again. And Deer trying to get in there. Taken back by West Island, and the Kings ring it around the horn. Kings going for a change, and it's played up the center ice. Dixon up the foot. Conlon foot. Gets into West Island territory. Foot 
Tripped up, penalty coming up to the Kings, and it's time for a Mohawk Super Bingo Jackpot Chasers power play. Tripping the call, and the Mohawks will go to work on the uh, game's first man advantage with 2.49 left to go in the first. Face-off coming up to the right of Guinardi. Or Guinidi, sorry, Justin Guinidi. Uh, Jay Waduni Homer taking the draw. Here we go. Homer won it. Day in there. The ball. Shot. Save. Rebound. Whoa, what a save. We need these stones of Monty Horn. And the Dazi James Day. Up the ice. That pass was deflected. And shot back in. Day. And it does it. James Day turning the corner. Trying to come in. He puts on the brakes. Fires it towards the net. That shot was blocked and the Kings get it. Turned over, however, and Jacob Paul's back on it. Paul picks it up, gets a shot away. That's blocked in front of the Kings net. West Island picks it up and they've got a look at plenty of time and they'll shoot it out of the zone. Two minutes left to go. In the period, 1.14 to go in the Mohawks power play. Turned over by the Mohawks. This shot, Hayes Horn. Saw that one through traffic, but she'll hang on. Face off coming up to the left of Hayes Horn. 153 to go in the first. Mohawk zero, Kings zero. Bella Deer taking the draw. 104 left as mentioned in the Mohawks power play. Conlon Foot off the draw. Up the ice, good feed. Kind of hand uh, handcuffed Grayson a bit, and that feed intercepted and cleared. Mayo is not going to be able to hold the zone. And Nash shoots it back in. Kings intercept. Oh, that'll be a trip. Yep. Got to keep skating. Don't stick on that stick. Penalty to Conlon Foot, and he's going for two minutes, and that'll take care of the Ganhawagi power play. With 1.26 to go here in the first. For the next 30, 37 seconds. Face off one by the Mohawks. That shot out. Will they make it there? Icing waves at the last second. Where will the Kings defenseman have the chance to touch it? Jacobs back to the point. Dixon fanned on the shot, and Reese now sends it back in behind the West Island goal. Jacob Paul in pursuit of the puck, trying to get, get it, and instead it's cleared out. That'll make it all the way down. Icing on the Mohawks as we are or on the Kings as we're in the final minute here in the first. Off to the right of the West Island Kings goal. A Jay Waduni homer. Taking the draw. Won by the Kings. Clearing the attempt, hit homer in the shin. Penalty is over to West Island and it is now five on four as Homer keeps it alive. We got a slashing call coming up, I think. Yep. On Homer and it'll be five on three. For a minute 17. Oh, this is critical. And they're gonna send Jake the Paul out there for um, as the forward. Mayo and Dixon will be the defense. Working the road opportunity here for the Kings. And the Kings control. Rister, no. It in. Yeah, we have Hill Street one that's knocked down by a high stick, and that means that the draw will come outside the blue line with 29 seconds left here in the first. Mohawk zero, King zero. Brandon Golden for baby blue memories. And Paul trying to kick it, could not. Back comes West Island. 
A wrist shot. He's horn the save. A rebound. Follow up chance sent wide. Dixon clears it out. Ten seconds left to go. Paul in pursuit. One second left for this there, and that will do it. Scoreless after 10. And away we go with the second period of play. Mohawks and the West Island Kings, no score. And here come the Kings, five on three. Remember, Horn steered it aside, a rebound Hayes. She'll gobble it up here. 24 seconds left in the five on three. And Dixon's gonna come in. And on the James Day, I think will be coming off. So Karat's off, Belladier's gonna take it with Dixon and Day. One by the Kings and a shot blocked as Reese got a stick in the way. Picked up from the point at Rister, that deflects wide in the target. 14 seconds left in the five on three and a pass Dixon. And Horn steers it aside, she's gonna keep it going. Dixon blocked the first try. Second try, Horn the save, a rebound, Hayes! Two Bell save with that one. Two big stops in tight by Hayes. Up to Belladier and now Foyt is brought in. And Conlon has a look. And his quick passing attempt is up to Bella. She fanned on the clearing attempt as well and it only got back out to the other side of center ice. Foyt. And it He'll shoot it back in. One minute gone by in the period, 18 seconds left in what was once a five on three, now a five on four for the Kings. Across center ice, they come into Mohawks territory. And West Island sends it out in front. That's driven out of the zone and that will do it. The Mohawks survive and that is a successful Mohawk Super Bingo jackpot chasers penalty kill. Big kill right there for the Mohawks. To center ice. Mayo chips it up. Jacobs trying to hit Paul. That pass a little too far. And now West Island comes back into Ganawaga territory. Arister knocked down in front of the net. Correct in pursuit of the puck. And Amati Horn chips it up for Jacobs. Grayson Jacobs. Who steers one over to Jacob Paul who spins in. Off the wall that counts out. And the Kings gather it at center. A pass attempt hits a skate. And Jacob Paul will shoot it into West Island territory. 7.45 to go. Up the ice. Pausey. Delayed offside. Kings got to tag up. Horns pass. Out of reach, intended for Paul, and Jacob's gonna go to the bench. This is the period with the long chains, by the way. So if you're a forward, you gotta be aware of you're being offside even when you're on the bench, when you're coming in. Late offside on the Kings. There's a feed that Paul couldn't corral. Hunter Jacobs lets it go right on, and that'll be stopped and held. As we have 7.02 to play here in the second period. No score between the Mohawks and Kings in this championship game. Two of our doubleheader comes up uh, in about four hours, right at 7.20 when the U15B Mohawks go for the regional championship against the Pierrefall Barons. Right to the point, Dixon, a drive. And that Karen took out a King's stick. And that'll be played up. Dixon shoots it back in, but the Mohawks have to tag up. And now they can go, oh, look out, one of the West Island players lost their balance. Jacob steers it to the net, that was blocked. Dixon keeps it alive, and he'll play it back in behind the West Island net. To the point it goes, Dixon not able to knock it down. And Reese, Dixon has his stick lifted. On the Adazi, James Day in pursuit of the puck. Day kicks it, and he'll send it back around the horn. Hunter Jacobs. And his pass gets up to center. Jacobs 
moving in. Jacobs, a wrist shot. No. Dixon going to the bench. Correct on. Jay with duty, homer. He got flattened. And here come the Kings. Wrist shot, fanned on. Played off the boards, and that'll get out. Homer in pursuit of the puck, one on one. And Jay with duty pokes it by. As Hunter Jacobs lost his balance. Boy, he, he, I think he lost his skate blade. Back up to center, that hits a couple of bodies, and now Ripley says one on one. Wister, no. Correct, back off the boards, phenomenal pass. Jacob Paul, can't clear it. Turnover, and that feed is broken up. Conlon Foot trying to hit Grayson Jacobs. Jacobs up to Paul. Paul's backhander is blocked. And that'll be cleared, and the Kings took it out. Foot trying to get it, he could not. Gangel. And that's stolen. And here comes Conlon Foot back the other way, three on two. Conlon Foot moving on in. Center feed. Chip just wide of the goal. Paul had the opportunity. Foot tried to saucer it over to Dixon. And that one is blocked. And away come the Kings. Into Ganhawagi territory. Offside with 4.33 left to go in the second period of play. Still no score. David Duty Homer over skating the puck. Homer trying to get started, could not. Stolen by the Kings. And that wrist shot, Caroms. And the Adazi James Day trying to find it. And he'll send it back, and that'll get out of the zone as Pauzy couldn't hold it. Back on the Kings. Piccola turned it over. Horn out in front, and Deer couldn't get a second whack after being stopped the first try. On the Adazi James Lee, shoots, blocked, and that'll carry him back out. And Karat's gonna have it. Karat's clearing the attempt, blocked. And Hayes Horn makes the save with the hang on. With 3.45 left to go in the second period, and some pushing and shoving going on after the fact. Good song in the background, Hayes Warren. Girls just want to have fun. She has fun when she's on that ice, that's for sure. Grayson Jacobs taking the draw for the Mohawks. And Jacob Paul's got it. Paul's pass, hit a skate. Foot for Jacobs. Turned over. That clearing attempt hits a shin, and back it goes out to neutral ice where the Kings play it up the boards. Ashton Deo, nice little sauce pass, a little too far for foot as he was back trailing. And the Kings play one up. Into Mohawks territory they come. Here's a wrist shot. Blocker saved by Hayes, and that puck had a trail of smoke following it. To the point it goes. Slapper. Dixon knocks it aside. And it's picked up by the Mohawks. Flickered up. And Conlon Foot. Foot could not get around the Kings defender. Nash to Mayo. And his pass is stolen. Ricola, no. Reels it in. Ball up the center for Foot. Foot is going to cause Jacobs to go offside. Hunter Jacobs can't knock it any further. Conlon Foot will shoot it in wide of the goal and he'll go to the bench. 2 10 to go in the second. Still no score. And away 
away come the Kings into Mohawk's territory on side. And that wrister will not hit the net. Correct off the boards. And Amonte Horn chips it out. And the Kings send it back. The lead offside. Nashton Mayo gets rid of the puck. A day with Dooney Homer over to Hunter Deacons and Deacons couldn't reel that pass in. Homer falls, and now Horn's gonna have to try to get back into play. Two on two. Here's a wrister that's blocked in front. A rebound settles in, and Amonte Horn's got it, and he'll flick it up to Homer, who has it roll off his skate, and then he took a tumble at center ice. Andrew Jacobs picks it up, trying to hit Homer, and that pass is too far for a Jay Laduni. Back into Mohawk's territory. Correct. Not able to track it. Homer, and it's knocked out of the zone. And that clearing attempt hits the skate of the linesman and back out into King's territory. Right up the center, a pass behind Gringoire. Final minute of play of the second period, still no score. Pass across. Here's a look, and that is blocked by the combination of Corrent and Mayo. On in front it comes Gregoire shoots, that's blocked. Well, has Corrent getting in the way of that? And that's poked up by Hunter Jacobs. He's got a Monty Horn. Two on one. Save. And that will be held with 30.6 seconds to go. Off one by the Mohawks. A pass out in front. Ricochets going back to the point. Nixon shoots it back in. 22 seconds left to play in the second period. Behind the net. And that's poked up and away come the West Island Kings. With the Mohawks territory. And Dixon got a stick in the way. Picked back up. Centering feed and that pass is just wide. Paul can't get started. One second to go in the period. And this baby is still tied at nil after two. There we go. Third period. Still no score. Mohawks and the West Island Kings in this championship game of the West Island Tournament. A shot by Mayo blocked. Nashton. And he kept it in onside so the Mohawks can go after the puck. And now they're going to have to retreat. It looks like, yeah, chipped by Nash. And Dixon has to get back as Piccolo comes in. He's Dixon. Dixon takes it and makes the play. Hall up the center ice at Conlon foot, two on one. Foot with Homer. Conlon to Jay Waduni. Homer shoots and that's blocked to the side. Paul shot blocked. And Jacobs goes behind the net. Jacob Paul, sorry, not Jacobs, but Jacob. Feet out in front, hits a stick and then caroms back out the center ice. And Reese Dixon will have a look. He plays it up to the foot. On the foot back in. Arister. No. Boy, both teams really having a hard time hitting the net. Whether it's been just straight up misses or shots getting blocked. Tight defense and not a whole lot of room either way. Up to this point. Stolen by the Kings though. Wrap around try. He's horns there. And she'll make the save. So they got 12 minutes in this third period. up by the Mohawks, sent off the boards, and that'll carry him. Bella Deer, not able to clear it. Here come the Kings, look at that room, oh, Hayes Horn! Squares up and makes the save. Ten twenty-two left to go here. Mohawk zero, Kings zero. Face off to the right of Hayes Horn. And the Mohawks take it. Back to the point it comes. Here's a wrister. Wide in the net. Nash and Mayo in pursuit of the puck. Mayo. 
And it's picked up by the Kings. Feed off the post. Grayson Dinkles picks it up and he'll clear it up and out. Monty Hornick with shoot of the puck, picked up by West Island. And the Mohawks will clear it. Icing waved as the puck will make it to the goal line. And away come the Kings. Fed out in front and Day knocked it away. Pass, reeled in, and here comes Conlon Foot. Oh, he got caught up to good defensive play. Cold go side. Hunter Jacobs going after the puck. And he's not going to get there. There's a wrister. Hayes Horn, the pad save, and she'll reel it in. Off one by the Mohawks, played off the boards, and that'll bounce out. Foot in pursuit of the puck. And the Kings will play it off the boards and out to center ice. A J with Dooney Homer. So Jake the Paul. Paul moves in. Paul has it roll off his stick. Dave. Homer. And Homer couldn't clear it. Played up. Be shot off the wall, how it is. Or at least in play, but not in the zone. And now the Kings will reel it up. Homer moving in. Ajay Laduni making some moves, but he lost it. Paul knocks it back to Karut. Karut off the boards, tipped back into West Island's end of the ice. Pass up the center, intercepted by Jacob Paul. He sends one up to the near side. And Paul turns and shoots it at Caroms, and this will go in on net and force an offensive zone faceoff to the Mohawks with 8.05 to play here in the championship. Still nil-nil, Mohawks and Kings. <laughs> Belladier, Grayson Jacobs, Amonte Horn up front. Nash Mayo and Reese Dixon on the back end. Kings win the draw. And Horn with the takeaway. Amonti's pass will ricochet, and the shot gets by Dixon. It's rolling, 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 and icing called against West Island. 7.50 to play in this championship game. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Side. I don't think Conley got as much as he wanted on it. Jacobs won it forward, but the Kings do scoop it up. And that pass will get out the center ice. Dixon tips it in. Offside, Dixon was trying to get by and in his attempt to get back into the zone, we'll say accidentally ran into the West Island King who was up and as a result, that'll be an offside against the, the Kings. Coming to Mohawks territory. A wrist shot. Hayes Horn! Lovely stop. 7 22 to go on this championship. Still nil nil. Play 
Right to the point, and that'll get out. King's got to tie up. On yet the Aussie, James Day, he's going to go for a little skate here. Stutter step, making his way in. And that one is teed to the side. Back to the point it goes, Karat. And shot it back in. Paul turning, flickers it out in front, and that'll go wide as Hunter Jacobs was in the area trying to catch that fish. And it's Ozzy James Day. Paul. Here, tied up. And back come the Kings. Arister, that misses the far side. 6.30 to play in this championship. Mohawk 0, King 0. Horn punches it away. Correct's clearing attempt is blocked, and Wahesu trying to scoop it, and she'll get it up to Hunter Jacobs. Jacobs lost his balance momentarily, and as a result, he couldn't make the pass. Paul knocked it, but not out. And the Kings again keeping the play alive. And that's cleared away by Day. Knocked back to Jacobs, and Jacobs makes the play to Paul. And here comes Jacob Paul across the Kings blue line. Paul threw it out in front. That pass misses Deer. Bella Deer flicks one up in the air, and that's deflected by Paul just wide of the goal. That puck seemingly hung up there forever. Foy. Scores! He scores! Abanti Hoard! How the hell did that go in? Abanti Hoard breaks the seal! 1-0 Mohawks! to play in this championship game. Mohawks one, Kings zero. Amonte Horn breaks the seal 27 minutes into this game. And back comes West Island. Campanelli. Campanelli, great move, and Mayo got a stick in the way. Out in front, intercepted by Dixon. Reese tried to clear it, could not. Ajay Waduni back up. And the Kings keep it alive. Back to the point it comes. Here's Arister tipped. And the Mohawks will clear it out of the zone. So Monty Horn gets the goal. After really just trying to pass the puck in front of the net. Conlon foot back around the horn. And Grayson Jacobs lost his balance. Shot back into Mohawks territory where Reese Dixon controls. Dixon up for foot. And Foyt chips it back up the center, and Grace and Jacobs chips it by. In comes Jacobs into West Island territory. Jacobs, home up, high save! And Jay Waduni, a backhander, that's not a backhander attempt again. And one of the Mohawks got hit in front of the net. Looked like incidental contact, but 4.31 left to go in this uh, championship game. The Mohawks leading it 1-0. Thanks to a goal from Amonte Horn. Face off to the left of the Kings net. Whoa, there goes the referee. Back comes the Kings. Follow-up chance, and that was blocked. And I think that was Pickiola who accidentally got in the way of the shot. Tipped up to Amonte Horn, who has it knocked away. Horn chips it by. Horn has some room. Let's it go. Mohawks 2, Kings 0. 
Two nothing Mohawks. With 3.50 to go, Amonte Horn has doubled up the two goals here. And back come the Kings. Actually, they gave it to Anya Daze James there, I think, on the goal. Feet out in front. I have to take a look at the replay. I was kind of watching it live, actually. Belladier flips it up, and that pass is knocked down. 2 up in Mohawks leading 3-15 to play in this championship game. Mayo back around the horn. Conlon can't clear it. Kept alive by the Kings. And there is a back check. Paul. And this pass is picked off. We hear it from underneath the dump and chase, boys and girls. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy. And why try to be when you're up to nothing? And the Kings bring it back. On the foot, knocked it out of the zone, or out to the blue line, but not out of the zone. Dixon, a backhander, that hits a man. And a feed in front for Homer. A Jay Waduni slaps it off the boards. Got by foot. He ticked it in, they say, so it's a Kings in possession and the icing was wiped out. Conlon foot. Sends it back deep. A Jay Waduni homer. Out in front, that pass hits the back of the net. And there's 2.14 left. Kings are pulling the goalie. Empty net. Oh boy, it's gonna be six on four now. Homer touches the puck, tripping call on the Mohawks, and a six on four coming up for the Kings. The Mohawks lead by two goals, the Kings lead by two men. And there's 2.05 left to go here in the third period. Need to kill it. Empty net at the other end. Oh, it's gonna roll wide. And here come the Kings. Remember, they're up six on four right now. Homer and Horn up on attack. Comes out. He's Horn. Hey, look at this. Some rough stuff going on. Cooler heads prevail. 1.39 to go in the championship game. Mohawks 2, Kings 0. West Island has used their timeout already. And the faceoff will come outside. Dixon shoots it up to the point, up to the blue line of the Kings. Scores! The game is in the refrigerator. The jello is jingling. The bacon is shaking. And the chicken is marinating in parsley, paprika, and some olive oil and just a touch of HP sauce. And this game is gonna taste extra sweet. The Mohawks are gonna end this season out with a championship. A minute 31 to go, it's three nothing Mohawks. Dixon drives it down. And the Mohawks lead is three nothing. A minute 15 to play here in this. Championship game, Mohawks by three. Out in front, and Hayes Horn will swallow it up. And now just 68 seconds stand between the Mohawks and a championship. Three nothing on the wall game leading in this championship game. No score and the Mohawks win the draw. Shot off the boards. 104 to play. 
Saw it blocked by Reese Dixon, and Reese shoots it. Got Milwaukee killing a penalty. Final minute of play in this championship game. Grayson Jacobs racing back into West Island territory, and the Kings catch up. And back come the Kings. Into Gonhawagi territory, down to the last 40. Blocked in front, Dixon trying to send it out. And that's chopped off the boards by Dixon. Back to the point it comes. Here's the wrister, knocked down by Reese. And the Mohawks get it and get it out of the zone. Down to the last 27 seconds to play. Mohawks three, Kings no score. 22 ticks to go, Grayson Jacobs. And that'll ricochet out of the zone. And away comes Jason, J uh, Jacob Paul rather. Paul shoots, glove save, a rebound. Paul picks it back up, down to the final 10 seconds to play. Homer, down to the last four. And this is gonna be sweet. The Gunawake Mohawks, U13A, win the West Island Championship. season, the Gunnawagi Mohawks win the championship here of U13A. And is that just the first of what's to come when the Bantam B Mohawks are in action? 3 nothing, and you know what, we're going to make our way down there. We're making our way down as we wrap it up here. There we are. I didn't know that. The Milwaukee Mohawks U13 A's are the champions. And is this a sweet way to end the season? Well, the Mohawks outscored their opponents 18 to 1 in this tournament. Is this just the first of two? What a win. There you go. That's part one. And Reese Dixon, the alternate captain of this team, his brother has a chance to win a a gold medal later on tonight in LaSalle in the regional championship. This, of course, the West Island Tournament Championship and the Gunnawagi Mohawks U13As have won the championship. And here are the finalists, the West Island Kings. They won 3-2 to two last night to advance to the championship. They beat the, uh, the the Knights, the rival West Island Knights, three to two last night. Just not enough in the tank tonight to bring a gold medal back and keep it in their hometown. But the Mohawks win it, and Hayes home gets the game MVP. Shout out win for the Mohawks. And this one's gonna feel sweet. But will it be the only sweet thing on the Wall Gate Taste this evening? Don't forget the Bantam Bees play in the regional championship today at 7.20 in Jock Lemaire. So about, oh, four hours from that, three hours. Jeez, my math sucks. There you have it. Parade that thing around, boys and girls. You earned it. Regular season, not so memorable, but they got something. They got a gold here. And there's the West Island Kings getting their silver medals. Regular season champions of the CHL. And it is time for the Mohawks to collect their hardware.
The Mohawks. Parade that thing around. There you go. That's a great way to end the season. James Day, raise that thing. What a way to end uh, the season for the U13A Mohawks. things to come. The Mohawks win the West Island Tournament. We'll be back in three hours. We're going to walk a goals for gold again. U15B Mohawks playing against Pierre Fall for the gold medal. I'm Brian DeBorda for Baby Blue Memories. Congratulations to our U13A Mohawks West Island Tournament champions. Justin, at least smile. 